Hi guys, welcome to Vegemama, Mama and I just want to come in and share with you guys um, some of the foods I'm going to be incorporating in my diet. Um, I took a trip to New York and um, I found breadfruit. This is what breadfruit looks like. You gotta know to pick it. And some of the some of them um, some of them are ripe. So I'm gonna have to put them in the, I'm gonna make breadfruit flour with this. I'm gonna roast some I'm gonna make breadfruit flour. I did a video on my YouTube channel show you how to roast breadfruit in the oven because I don't have a um gas stove. So I did it bake it in the oven. <clears throat> and all these four I paid twenty nine dollars for it, so it's like three ninety nine a pound. Um, these are green planting. I'm highly allergic to bananas, so green planting. I have the green planting. They can have potatoes. These are ackee. It's a fruit that will grow in Jamaica on the tree. Okay, in the brown. I can't get fresh ackee, so, and they're very expensive too. It's like $10 a can. So it's going to be like a once a month treat for me. And these are cassava. They call it yucca up here. And I, I went to the grocery store where I live at locally. And it was like, um, no kidding guys, it was like $8, it was like, it's three ninety nine a pound. And it was like, for this size, it was like six nine nine. I just put it right, but then I couldn't, I, I couldn't buy it. So, I'm, my trip to, trip to New York, I bought these. I think I paid like 20 something dollars for all of these right here. And this is, a, um... <clears throat> And I can't have brown rice, I can't have white rice, I can't have um, sweet potatoes. And um, <clears throat> this is a spaghetti out there, konjac spaghetti. It's actually, it's a, it's a root vegetable. They turn, when your people do it like keto or low carb, this is what they use for this spaghetti. I can have um, like vegetables, except for the one I'm allergic to. And um this is on my list as well you want me to try give eggs like with um give another try like for the next three weeks i'm gonna in the next three weeks banana is definitely high on the list grapefruit coca green tea, um tea tofu soy msg i don't use msg anyway but it show up on there rice paprika sea sea salt guys sea salt so i'm gonna have to use um another find another salt to use there's another gray salt out there i'm gonna which is not sea salt but i forgot the name of it um white sugar sugar wheat soybean honey cat um i don't drink coffee cheese i haven't had cheese like in 18 years and it's still show up on there um dates yeast nothing with yeast guys so i'm going to do i'm going to use this to make um do like flatbread. So I'm gonna make cassava flour with this to make my own um, bread and stuff. I could use baking soda, baking powder. Um, almonds, and I'm allergic to nuts. So the nuts and seeds show up on there. I can't, like I said, I can't have um, brown rice and fruits. Fruits, you know, it's just like, wow. But I see the reason, because you got the yeast. You know, you have the sugar. So therefore, I see it makes sense. So. I'm going to have to have not started and also a lot of bone broth you mentioned to me drink a lot of bone broth so I am going to be doing my own bone broth that I'm going to be using um that is locally from a farmer these are chicken feet I'm going to be using these been using these for the boys using these to make my um own bone broth so I am going to show you guys how I do my um my homemade bone broth here so I'm gonna do this today so I could have that to drink. So it's it's gonna be a ride guys, but I am willing to heal my body at this time and you know um <clears throat> allow my and also when I went to New York I got a little um fish, I got um snapper fish, cod fish, um what else? Tuna. So I have those, those with me because it, oh, it's very expensive. So that's like once a week thing. A lot of vegetables, like I said, a lot of vegetables, no fruits. And what else? Chicken. I'm going to be eating chicken as well. So those stuff like, I'm, all I'm doing is replacing like my, what I would do, plant-based, 
protein you know just replace that so I would cook the same thing for my family just you know replace mine with a different protein but these right here like I said I'm gonna be making flour with this maybe I'm gonna roast one to eat I'm planting I'm so glad able to do it there's some you know there's a lot of stuff out there that we can can be eating we just, you just have to just um willing to do some research willing to um you know see what's available to you to eat because when another door is shut guess what another one is open so I just want to come in and show you guys these are just some of the stuff and it's, these are not readily available to me so I'm gonna have to be really 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 um hunting for them it's very expensive to order to like these that breadfruit and the aki and the cassava it's really really expensive to buy these online so you have to go to an international um, market you know you have to really do some um, you have to plan also the key thing about it is planning because i'm gonna i'm started there because i was on the way didn't plan so i eat anything that was out there not out there but whatever for my family to eat and it wasn't good so i have you have to plan god when you have severe food allergies allergy you can really plan and um and the reason i have to stop eating what i'm eating now is because if i don't it's gonna i'm gonna develop autoimmune so i'm heading that direction so if i don't stop it right now then i'm gonna head in that direction so in order for me not to enter that in that direction i have to stop um eating eating the way i'm eating and you know start eating you know different food that's out there so it's a journey it's gonna be a journey but um if you're out there struggling with um food allergies you know just know that you're not alone and you know just pray to your heavenly father he will give you the grace and strength that we need to go through it and ultimately at the end of the day it's gonna be for someone else it's gonna be a testimony how our life's gonna be a witness for someone else so I'm coming and share with you guys. I hope you guys um like this video, share, subscribe.